The permanent magnet type of stepper motor has the characteristic magnetized rotor. During the rest of this web seminar, we will use the nomenclature shown on the above slide. Each winding, although one entity, will be subdivided. Above, I've labeled winding A, for example, as A and A prime, winding B as B and B prime. Keep this in mind as we continue through this web seminar. We discussed step angles earlier. Well, we can improve the resolution of rotor rotation or decrease the step angle in a permanent magnet rotor by either increasing the number of pole pairs on the rotor itself. We could also increase this resolution by adding more stators and phases. As we will see in subsequent web seminars, we can also increase the resolution in a third way by using different stepping techniques. To rotate the rotor, voltage is applied to each phase sequentially. Again, current begins to flow, creating a polarity on each pole of that stator. As you can see, rotation in a particular direction is accomplished by applying voltage to the individual phases in a particular sequence. Furthermore, to rotate the rotor in the opposite direction, we need only reverse this voltage sequence. To hold the rotor at a particular position, step it to that angle and then stop the sequence, maintaining voltage on the appropriate phase. Again, in subsequent web seminars, you will come to understand that this isn't the end of the story. Current limiting will need to be implemented in certain applications. However, for now, this is the fundamental operation of this type of motor.